Go Down Moses by John Levitt, taken from Jubilee. be with you and also with you glad you've joined us this morning for morning prayer we will begin with the versicles O Lord open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise glory Glory be be to to the the Father and to the Son and to the the Holy Spirit Spirit, as as it was in the beginning beginning, is now now, and and will will be forever forever. Amen. amen alleluia alleluia 
The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. O come, let us worship him. O come, come let, let us sing to the Lord. Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory, Glory be, be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Exodus chapter 14 and 15. When Moses drew near, the people of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they feared greatly. And the people of Israel cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Is it because there are no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us in bringing us out of Egypt? Is not this what we said to you in Egypt, leave us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you only have to be silent. The Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. Lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the people of Israel may grow through the sea on dry ground. And I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they shall go in after them. And I will get glory over Pharaoh and all his hosts, his chariots and his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten glory over Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. Then the angel of God, who was going before the host of Israel, moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from before them and stood behind them, coming between the host of Egypt and the host of Israel. And there was a cloud and the darkness, and it lit up the night without one coming near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the people of Israel went in to the midst of the sea on dry ground, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And in the morning watch, the Lord in the pillar of fire and of cloud looked down on the Egyptian forces and threw the Egyptian forces into a panic, clogging their chariot wheels so that they drove heavily. And the Egyptians said, Let us flee from before Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its normal course when the, Lord, when the morning appeared. And as the Egyptians fled into it, the Lord threw the Egyptians into the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen, and all of the host of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea, not one of them remained. But the people of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters being a wall to them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great power that the Lord used against the Egyptians, so the people feared the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now, in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. This morning, we continue with looking our, our look at hymns, hymns of the church, and today we will look at Come You Faithful, Raise the Strain. This hymn was written in the 8th century by one of the greatest hymn writers of the Greek church, John of Damascus, who lived between 696 and 754. The hymn is based on the first ode of the canon for St. Thomas Sunday, the second Sunday after Easter, an ode based on the Song of Moses 
in Exodus 15. John of Damascus' hymn confesses two biblical realities, Israel's freedom from Egyptian bondage through the Red Sea waters and the Christian's freedom from the bondage of sin and death through Christ's resurrection. From John Damascus' hymn, we see how we take the same journey as the children of Israel did, for we have passed through the waters of holy baptism and are led by Jesus with unmoistened foot to salvation in the ark of the Holy Christian Church. Come you faithful, raise the strain is appropriate any time for Easter, but perhaps the most significant time we use it is on the great Easter vigil when we focus specifically on the sacrament of holy baptism. Some of the preaching hymns that spring from this hymn include The Christian's Life, Death to Life, The Prefiguring of Holy Baptism, and the unwearied strains of God's baptized children. So we rejoice in this setting of the hymn by Concordia Seminary Choir, Dear, from Dear Christians One and All Rejoice. Praise you and acknowledge you, O God. This hymnic setting of the Te Deum bears a significant Stephen Starkey text and is set to Gustav Holst's tune, Thaxted. It appears for the first time in Lutheran Service Book. Mark Bender masterfully sets this liturgical text for SATB choir, congregation, and full orchestra. This piece may also be performed utilizing organ alone with voices.
Let us pray. O God, you once delivered your people Israel from bondage under Pharaoh and led them by a pillar of cloud and fire through the sea to safety. Grant that we may so follow Christ, that through the waters of baptism we may daily die and rise with him and walk in safety through the wilderness of this life until we see your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord God, be with all health care servants, especially Amy, Chad, Chris, Darcy, Dave, Deb, Eve, Laura, Laura, Heather, Jessica, Joan, Judy, Kaylee, Kevin, Kyle, Shelley, and Tim, who minister to the bodily needs of your creatures, that blessed by you their tender care may serve to the healing of sickness and lead to a speedy return to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go Down Moses by John Levitt, taken from Jubilee, a new large choral work celebrating the contribution of African-American spirituals and hymnody to congregational song. For SATB or SSA, keyboard, percussion, and string bass.